My expectation was going in that, uh, you know, as a 51 year old, that I was just doing my annual checkup. So yeah, the last thing I expected was something uh, off the charts. Long story short, the blood test showed that I was uh, somewhat anemic. My white counts were lower than uh, the, the normal range. Fast forward uh, a month and a half, I was then formally diagnosed with uh, what's called splenic marginal zone lymphoma. What felt like a really normal life ahead of uh, prior to that became something very different very fast. My wife and I, while we were extremely depressed, we were very self-sufficient. We felt like this was something that we could beat. Each of the experts basically said, this is, uh, while it's not curable, it is a treatable disease. That gave us this false sense of hope. Well, unfortunately, after two and a half weeks or so, my cancer load, or specifically my uh, liver enzymes, got so high, grew at a rate much faster than they had even expected. That's probably when my wife and I had like, a serious eye-to-eye -eye look at each other, and we just, you know, we just started crying and, and just acknowledge that this is something that might be not a typical problem that we tend to solve. Well, unfortunately, that next thing was not really clear because I failed out of the clinical trial. Only option I could have considered was FDA approved CAR T cell therapy. Yeah, a lot of things have failed, but we also had this opportunity, this, this incredible innovative technology that got introduced just recently. And so when we started researching and started reading about CAR T cell therapy, it was not only revolutionary to us, it was revolutionary because it had not been done before. They take the T cells, which is extracted from the white blood count, and then the manufacturer creates these receptors that's designed and programmed to seek out and destroy these CD19s. I was in the hospital from the day that the infusion of those souped up T cells to the day I was discharged roughly 28 days. I'm happy to say I'm a cancer survivor. Probably feel fitter than I ever have, even prior to the diagnosis. I've been going to CrossFit every day for six days a week, and that's very much part of my routine. I've got a great deal to be grateful for. We have a finite moment in time to share. Every moment that we do share together, it should be a blessing. That's not something that we take for granted. I've not only changed kind of my outlook and my mindset around life in general, but more importantly, I think I've lived in the very short period of time since departing from the hospital, a more fruitful life in the last almost eight, nine months than I had in my previous 50 years.